welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing my BoxyCharm March Life Box. So I actually did my eye makeup already and my eyebrows, but there's going to be some products in here that I want to try out. So we are going to kind of do a first impression try on haul. Alright, so let's open this bad boy up. So I kind of watch the videos already, the unboxing videos, um, so I already kind of know what I'm getting, but let's kind of dig into it. So the first things first is you get a cute makeup bag, um, it's rose gold, and it looks really nice, it has boxy charm uh, on the inside here, and looks like it's pretty spacious too. Definitely will be needing to use this when I travel as I think it can fit everything that I need in here. Alright, so first things first, I was so excited to get this. It's the It Confidence in Cream. I've heard so many good things about this and when I saw that I was getting it in my box, I think it's for, you know, such a great deal. So let's go ahead and try this on. going on really smoothly on the skin. It's not leaving any greasy residue or anything. And my skin feels really soft after it all blends in. Okay, so far so good. We'll have to see if it does anything over time as it's supposed to have a bunch of skincare ingredients in here to kind of help with anti-aging, uh, pollution, and everything like that. So, we will see. So the next thing is the Iconic London Eyebrow Cushion. I am kind of scared to use this. I'm so used to using an eyebrow pencil, anything else just kind of scares me. <laughs> But let's go ahead and give it a try and make my eyebrows a little bit more dramatic and just see what happens. So you open it up and it looks like this. It comes with a spoolie and a brush. And then the cushion is in here. So you have to peel it off. Ooh, looks cool. It has two colors in there. This is in a shade medium, so it should be good for my hair color. Let's go ahead and use the brush and a spoolie that they provided. So you just open it up and it becomes longer. I'm gonna go in with a darker shade. It's pretty pigmented as you can see. And we're gonna go ahead and darken up the outside of my brows. Also, it's not so scary, so bad. You just have to be a little bit more light-handed. I don't know if I like the brush. It's a little bit too soft for my taste to kind of do the hair-like strokes and get those really thin lines. And in the front, I feel like the brush is too big to give me those natural brush strokes but I'm making it work <laughs> okay so once it sets it doesn't budge so that's good for me since I like to have my brows last pretty much all day long so so far so good I do like it let's see how it wears all day long so next is the Morphe palette. So I got the 15N Nightmaster in Blend Rolls. And it looks like this. Ooh, colors are very pretty. Purpley, neutral colors. Just my taste. So I already have an eye look on, but let's see if I can darken it up with some purple colors and kind of turn into a night look. 
It's a little powdery. Ooh, but it's blending really nicely. And this brown in editorial is really nice. So far, so good. It's really pigmented. And I don't have any fallouts. Next, I'm going to take a darker brown to deepen up the crease in the outer V. This Vava Voom color, it's more of a red tone brown. It has a purple undertone to it, goes with the palette theme. This color is a little bit patchy, but when I blend it a little bit more, it does blend into that first color I put on. So if you're going to use this color, I recommend putting a transition color on first. Next, I'm going to go into this deep plum purple color called Excuse Me. It's this shimmery plum color. and deepen up the V shape some more. Okay. okay, this shimmery shade is a little bit more creamy. So it's not blending as nice as the matte shades. The creaminess is making it more like sticky, so to speak. Now mind you, I don't have any eye primer or concealer on underneath this, so that could be why. I was just trying to see if this could be like a really easy go-to palette where you don't have to put anything underneath. And just kind of go from there. I do really like this purple color though. Purple tones do bring out brown eyes after all. Okay, I'm gonna blend it with the previous dark brown color. Just make sure it's more seamless. And I'm just gonna go in with a lid color. I don't know what to use. I'm gonna go in with Unique. This is like my go-to lid color. Yellow, golden toned. Same thing with the shimmery purple shade it has more of a creamy texture to it so it's not as easy to blend as the mattes which is weird because usually shimmery colors are easier to blend but i love how pigmented it is and how beautiful this color is i'm just gonna put on my concealer next and then we'll go ahead and move on to the lower lash line For the lower lash line, I'm just going to use the same dark brown color and the shimmery purple and kind of blend it together. I'm going to start out with the Excuse Me shimmery purple shade first. I'm going to take Baba Boom, that red tone dark brown shade and blend that out. And for the inner corners, I'm taking that same gold shimmering shade called Unique and I'm going to blend it into the outer lash line. So this is weird. Usually in palettes, I really like shimmy shades because they're really easy to work with. But in this palette, I'm really loving the matte shades. They're really buttery and just 
blend so nicely and effortlessly. Last touch, I'm gonna put this matte creamy shade called Custom. I'm just gonna put it under my brow bone. This fan brush. See if I can use another brush. I don't like that. Okay, I guess this isn't the effect I was going for, but it did brighten up the look a little bit. So the next item I'm so excited for, they are the Lily Lashes. And I think they're in the Gia or Gaia style. And they just look so fluffy and so nice. Um, very similar to the Ardell uh, Foaming Demi Wispies that I like to use, but these look more natural. So let's give it a go. So I do have to say, these lashes are not exactly for the faint of heart. They do have an invisible lash band, but it's such a thicker invisible lash band that I feel like you can't use it without putting eyeliner on. So I'm having a little trouble making it look seamless into my eye look because I, my eyeliner wasn't as prominent since I put the eyeshadow on. But they are really comfortable and let's see after they dry if I can hide the lash band with a black eyeliner. Okay, so I cut the lashes and I put them back on and I do like them, but I still feel like they're not as effortless as the Ardell uh, Demi Wispies or the Foaming Demi Wispies that I'm so used to using. Maybe I'm just really used to that style where it's very uh, thin on the inside and it tapers out to a bigger fluffy curl on the outside. So maybe this style isn't just for me, but I am... Uh, I think I will be trying more Lily Lashes in the future. Next, I'm going to try two new products. They are the Moda Powder and Soft Glow Brushes and the Cover FX uh, Face Palette. So the Cover FX Face Palette comes with a brightener, a finishing powder, and some highlighter, bronzer, and blushes. So that's what I'm going to do my face with today with the help of my two new brushes. So I really like these brushes. I think the packaging is really nice. The handle is a chrome pink color and it has a comfortable hold to it. So I think you'll be able to effortlessly put on your blush or your bronzer or anything like that. So first I'm gonna take my regular powder brush and I'm gonna go in with the finishing powder and set my concealer. So this finishing powder does have some shimmers in it, but they're very fine shimmers. It does have a nice glow to it because of the fine shimmers, which I do like. I'm going to take the contour color in here. I'm going to contour my face. I'm going to use the mirror and take the protective cover off. So satisfying. I like this shade for my skin tone. It's not too warm or too orangey. And it's blending really nicely into my face. So right now I don't have any foundation or any setting powder or anything on that. So I am blending these powders onto bare skin. And I do have to say that they are blending really nicely. So next, let's try the blush color. Ooh, it is very pigmented. <laughs> to be light-handed. And then smile. Ooh, this is a really pretty color. I'm just gonna blend it in with the contour color.
Okay, I really like this blush color. It's a matte corally pink color. In a pan, it looks a little scary for someone with fair skin like myself, but once you put it on and you blend it, or maybe it's this brush that I'm using, but it blends really nicely into the contour color and into the skin as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take the more pinky tone highlighter on this side to use. See how they go. So I feel like it's more of a natural highlighter. It's not like a bam in your face type of highlighter. So more for your natural everyday look. I think this would be really nice. Ooh, but it is buildable. I don't know if you can see. I'm putting another layer on it. It's really making my highlight on my face pop. Highlight my nose. You can see that well. I like it. I do like it. They don't have any like chunky glitters or anything and I think it does give off a really nice glow. Okay, I like it. So this palette I do like overall. I'm going to keep using it and I'll kind of give you guys an update when I can um, to kind of talk about maybe how the finishing powders do on top of foundation, not just concealer and maybe all over the face too. And I'm going to continue using the highlighter and the blush to see if they change if you put it over foundation as well. But overall, I like it. Okay, now for lips. I am going to be using the Becca lipstick that it comes with. And this is in the color Dune. It's supposed to be a more brown undertone type of nude lipstick. Did you hear that? I love that sound. I love when you open a lipstick and it makes that sound. Such a classic lipstick case. What time? <laughs> so I think the packaging is nice. It says Becca on it. Any color. Looks really nice too. Okay, let's see how it looks on my lips. It smells kind of like butter or vanilla taste. Okay, so it's more corally <laughs> than I thought it would be. So I don't have any color like this. Um, I do like the formula so far. It glided on really smoothly and it does feel really moisturizing. Not sticky or anything like that. Um, I know it's more of a traditional lipstick so I know it's not going to last all day long like a liquid lipstick. Um, but the formula I like because it's moisturizing and I have really dry lips. So, so far so good. Alright, so the last two products I got in the box are not really makeup products. The first one is uh, the Water Beauty Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. I'm going to insert a clip of me putting it on and peeling it off. Um, I have tried this and I do like it. But just be careful, put a thicker layer on so that when you go in and peel it off, it's not extremely painful. I made the mistake of that before with another peel-off mask, but the trick is with any peel-off mask is to just put on a thicker layer so that when you peel it off, it kind of all comes in one piece and it's really satisfying too. But I like it. I do think it leaves my skin feeling really nice afterwards. Um, I don't know about brightening yet. I used it a couple times and so far so good. Afterwards, my skin still feels moisturized in a way. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, so I'm going to keep using this and I'll let you guys know how it goes and if it changes my skin or anything like that. Any other product I got is a nail cuticle oil by Ades New York. It's organic infused. And I've used this for about a week now 
And I don't know if you've noticed, but I haven't been painting my nails because I've been trying to give them a break and to kind of recover. So I have seen a little bit of a difference after using this oil. My nails do end up being a little bit more shiny and healthy looking. And I haven't been doing anything else different. My diet hasn't been much different. Uh, I drink the same amount of water every day. So I really think that this nail oil has really helped and that it's been improving the look of my nails. All right, so that's my unboxing of this month's BoxyCharm Luxe Box. Um, I believe they do have this every quarter only. So every March and then end of August and December, they'll have an option for where you can upgrade it and you pay an extra $28.99 on top of the monthly $21. And so that will be $48.99 can't do math right now but you basically pay about 48 to 50 dollars and you get an upgraded box with these full um, full size items and really great brands actually so I hope you like my haul or try on video kind of a mixed video if you like this video don't forget to comment below subscribe and give it a thumbs up I upload videos once a week, sometimes twice if you're lucky. So please subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!